barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I got to get these videos in while Kennedy's napping. <laughs> so, so it, excuse the, the processing in the background. That's what you hear processing it. But I just want to give Al Heyman a standing ovation. I want to give the staff of PVC a standing ovation because what they just did that basically says there is no competition. They put three main event fights. Each of them fights will get at least 10,000 people in attendance. If you put, if you put, um, I'll go on a limb, not a limb, I'll go on a strong branch and say, if Tank Davis fights Abner Mares in the D.C. area, it sells out. If Leo Santa Cruz fights Gary Russell, I would say they can get twelve to 14,000 people. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, in my humble opinion, sells out any arena with an average undercard. I just believe that. You understand, when a heavyweight champion comes to your city, you show up and you show out, right? It's like Michael Jordan, LeBron James. When they come to your city, say LeBron James played in Cleveland and he came to the West Coast, you do it. When uh, when Mike, I'll tell you the truth, how I got my, how I started my Clippers season tickets years ago uh, is because I wanted Michael Jordan when he played for the Washington Wizards and Tracy McGrady and Grant Hill played for the Orlando Magic. That's how, what inspired me to get Clippers season tickets because I wanted to see those two games and I knew those games would be sold out. So anyways, moving forward or as I digress back into the, to the title, I'm just so elated. I'm so, so elated that the precedent has been set, the gauntlet has been dropped, the bar has been raised. If this holds true, see, I, I don't know nothing about the undercard, so I can't confirm it. I know Tank Davis put it, in, um, put it on his Instagram, but if this undercard is true, and imagine Keith Thurman fighting Josecito Lopez now, probably his name is back in play because the fight will be in uh, uh, L.A. You got to tip. You got to tip your hat. You got to tip your hat, and and with all this, and with this making this an event, <laughs> it basically makes the winner of of all these fights the ace high in their division. Respectfully, I'm not talking about better fighter. I'm not talking about has the most belts. I'm just talking about whoever wins at 126. Gary Russell, Leo Santa Cruz is the best fighter at 126. If Abner Mares de defeats Tank Davis, he is the man at 130. And obviously, the heavyweight division, whoever wins that fight, will be the man. No, who cares what Anthony Joshua is doing? He's not fighting until April, so he won't even be in the news. But we got to stand up and salute Al Heyman for what he is doing. And and I, what I was leading to say, if this is the precedent, we have no worries. Heard Charlo is going to happen. We have no worries. Uh, Spence Porter, Spence Thurman, sp our fights are going to happen. We have no worries. Uh, Caleb Plant versus Ikak Ikashi. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm not being disrespectful. Ikagagi, Ikagagi. That fight is going to happen. And then ultimately, David Benavidez somewhere down the line. That fight. The winner of that fight will fight the David Benavidez. Uh, light heavyweight division, we can anticipate Adonis Stevenson fighting um, Elano, fighting Alvarez after he, I believe he'll defeat Sergio, Sergio for the second time. Uh, these unification bouts will happen. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so it's time to get excited, I, I believe, because this is an indicator, because why would you put th these three fights on one card? Especially Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell. Gary, Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell is its own pay-per-view. I'm not pay-per-view. Is its own main event in January in LA. So anyways, man, barbershop conversation. Man, I just want to salute. I'm excited. I know this got this card. The, the rumors of this card is getting everyone excited. I'm excited, as you can hear it in my voice, I'm doing video. So salute to Al Heyman and PBC putting on this this trifecta, this triple header. I can't wait. I'm going to, guys, I'm going to cover this fight 
from the moment Deontay Wilder steps off the plane in LA. I'm being I'm being real with you guys. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with them to pick up Deontay Wilder. Like that's how serious this is. I'm being I'm being as as real as I can. Or I'm gonna meet him at the hotel. But either way, when he gets off that hotel, one of the first people he will see is me. All right. So, anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'm excited. Can't wait. Shout out to Al Heyman and PBC. They did it again. And uh, we got boxing every week, guys. Every week. At the top of January, we got boxing every week. And you choose who you want to watch. That's fine. That's fine with you. And I'm going to continue to report what I want to report. But more importantly, talk about the news of boxing and be fair. Be fair. Quote, unquote, fair. Fair in quotation marks. You know what I mean? That's a whole other video. But, but I hate when people go on your channel and say you're being unbiased. I'm going to say it again. People go on your channel and tell you you're being unbiased. Do you walk in someone else's house and say you love your kids more than you love the neighbor's kids? <laughs> Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you soon. Peace. Or you're not, you're not, wait, I said unbiased. You're not being unbiased. You're being unbiased. Yeah, you're not being unbiased. I got you. Barbershop conversations. Feel, you guys know what I meant. Barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. I holler. Peace.